We'll be installing an externally routed dropper post from PNW Components. Start by uninstalling your current seat post and saddle. Insert the dropper post into the seat tube, making sure that it's pointed in the correct orientation. The product logo and height measurement line should be on the back side of the post. Tighten the seat collar with enough tension to hold it into place. We'll go ahead and adjust the height later. Install your saddle into the saddle clamp by loosening the bolts just enough to create an opening for the saddle rails to slide into place. Make sure both saddle rails are securely in the round grooves on the top and bottom portions of the saddle clamp. Slide the saddle to your desired placement and tighten the bolts until they are secure using a 5mm Allen wrench. For install with the loam lever, open the clamp, slide it around the bar, and drop the through bolt into the hole to keep it in place. You'll notice that the loam lever has two bolt positions for attaching the clamp. Choose whichever gives you the desired lever placement for your setup. Starting at the post, install the cable housing with cable end into the post and run it to the front of the bike. Secure the cable housing using your frame's cable holders or strap them to the frame if none exist. Before trimming the cables to proper length, make sure that the inner wire hasn't been installed yet. Using your fingers, pull the cable end off of the housing. Use your fingers to hold the cable in place where the cable will be installed into the lever while pulling the excess slack through the other side. Turn the bars 90 degrees to verify that you have just enough housing for the bars to turn but not too much slack so that they're rattling around or can maybe get caught on something while you're riding. As they say, measure twice and cut once. Using a pair of cable cutters, cut the cables to your measured spot. Starting back at the post, slide the inner wire through the housing. Pop the dust cover off, starting at the bottom of the cover. Insert the cable end into the slotted opening of the cable carrier. Using the slot in the dust cover, slide the cable through and snap the dust cover into place, starting at the top of the dust cover and working your way back down. Slide the cable housing into the opening at the bottom of the mid cap and firmly seat it into place. Reinstall the cable end that was removed when trimming the cables at the front of the bike by sliding the inner cable through the opening and push the cable end firmly into the housing. Slide the inner wire through the opening in the barrel adjuster of the lever and seat the cable housing into the adjuster. Loosen the cable retention bolt enough so that the cable can slide under the floating washer. Pulling the inner wire taut, make sure it is positioned into the machine slot and tighten the bolt down to hold the cable into place. Using a 3mm Allen wrench, tighten the bolt to 2 newton meters of torque using a torque wrench. Using cable cutters, trim the inner wire with roughly 25mm of excess. Once it's trimmed, slide the cable cap onto the end of the wire and crimp into place using pliers. Using the barrel adjuster, twist it to remove all slack from the cable, but not enough to actuate the post. And this concludes the install process for a PNW Components externally routed dropper post. It's time to get out there and ride.